if you're looking for maybe a new look or just a little bit more youth, we're gonna help you out today later in the program. We're here at a new med spa in McFarland. Nurse Deanna is on the docket talking to her later in the program. Right now though, new year, which means a lot of folks are setting resolutions and we've got someone here who can help. Kristen Johnson Bott is with Mindful Wellness and we're so glad to see you. Hi, Hi. happy new year. Happy, happy new, new year. year. <laughs> So this is a huge topic for a lot of people this time of year. Lots of people setting resolutions. And as we all know, oftentimes those resolutions tend to fall off after a few weeks. <laughs> so you're gonna help us with some goal setting. Let's talk a little bit about how you can help us start off strong. Yes, well, I think, I always like to use the word intention instead of resolution, because if we start to think of how we intend to be and feel, it's easier to align our decisions and our actions with that. And and so I have a program that I'm doing that's small group coaching that seems to be the best bang for your buck. So for $35, you get every day for two weeks, it's motivation in your mailbox. It's helping with the eat, think, move well. So overall be well and just setting some goals of where do I want to be, but also enjoying where I am right now, like trying to help us appreciate where we're at. And this year, our resolutions may be a lot different from what we've learned in the, in the last year. So really yeah. honoring that, you know, the growth that we've had and where we want to be in a year from now. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, we probably have had a mind shift over the past year yes. of different resolutions. And a lot of us like to list a lot of them, right? <laughs> At the beginning yeah. of the year and see how we do. And then mm -hmm. we get a little discouraged. Could you give us some advice on that where Absolutely. we don't want to be bombarded with a huge list? Absolutely. I definitely think instead of trying to overall overhaul your entire life overnight <laughs> um, and you know thinking I need to perfect all these areas in me, I really try to work with people on instead of trying to say, oh, I, you know, I'm going to go on a diet because I ate too much. No, I'm going to feed my body nourishing foods. I'm going to pick little things, little goals along the way that I can celebrate every single day yeah. and have some accountability to that and really keep it small, but be in the moment that you're in, but also be really clear about where you're headed because that makes decisions so much easier to fall in line. Yeah, and it keeps you from getting so discouraged too. Absolutely, because yeah. we're yeah. supposed to be doing it for us and <laughs> right. to pick us up and oftentimes it ends up being you know more like we're feeling like we're cutting ourselves down yeah yeah that is so true and rings true for me too because I know when I set a goal that's too big as soon as I waver or I misstep mm -hmm. then I start feeling guilty mm -hmm. which sort of tends to spiral you into a worse place with that goal right because you're feeling yes. badly about it so yes. making manageable steps can make a huge impact mm -hmm. I want to talk a little bit to employers out there because there are so many entrepreneurs and you know let higher level managers and mid level managers who have employees who have had to make big changes in Absolutely. 2020 to your point yeah. big mind shift big business <laughs> shifts yes and it can be really stressful for folks who are um, in charge of people to figure out how to keep them safe and healthy as we you know, navigate this new normal. Do you have any pointers for them? Absolutely, yes. I work with a few companies and I have room for a few more, but what I try to help them do is things like um, mailbox motivation, like a Monday mindful type of thing to start your week off. Um, I have lunch and learns that I do that are little talks that, you know, dear stress, let's break up or you can't outrun your fork or, you know, kind of a fun way to look at little things we can do that make a really big difference. Mm -hmm. And I also have some stress and stretch relief classes that people have been doing online or there's others you can look out there there's tons of apps that people can do with meditations or I go into companies and do that or I've done fitness and yoga for a lot of companies so when they're offering that to their employees some are even doing it in the workday which is amazing like you have a meeting at one o'clock and it's going to be you taking care of you and they've just said that what that has given them is tenfold in terms of people feeling appreciated understood and their productivity going up. What a benefit for people that work in a business that have you come in and do that for them. I mean, that must also help with their um, production over it with their staff. It absolutely does. Yep, retention, yeah. people yes. feeling, you know, giving a little extra because they feel they're getting yeah. more too. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Because when and we're stressed, we aren't very productive. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. And you have a theory about the happiest people. Is that right? Yes, yeah, I do. I've seen this. On that? Yes, I've seen this idea in a little different way from a lot of my favorite motivators, but I've also seen it with clients and myself that if you can be in the moment you're in, right, mm. the, in the now and appreciating it, like truly having an appreciation for what's good, but also at the same time having a vision of what you are becoming, what every day you're getting a step towards being, those two combined are yeah. so empowering. So if we're just in the moment, sometimes fear can sneak up about, well, what if, what if things don't turn out okay in the future. Mm -hmm. If we're just in the future, we miss the moment. But if we can combine those and have a vision of where we're going and also an appreciation of where we are, I think those people seem to be the happiest. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Mm. Yeah, really good thoughts. And you mentioned the word vision. Visualization is also something you help with. Yes. Uh, we don't have time to touch on that today, yeah. but I wanted to at least make sure that our viewers know uh, there's a lot of things that you can do and help put these ideas into practice mm -hmm. into our everyday lives. And that's the connection that you help us make. Thank you for giving us some of your thoughts today, Kristen. Yeah, thank Thanks. you, guys. You have a wonderful awesome. week. Thanks, you, well. too. Thank you for watching. We have more. Stick with us.